Have you ever wondered if your grounding mat is working properly? No worries, we've got you covered. First, we need a multimeter to get this done. Once you have the multimeter, you have to check that your multimeter is also working properly. You can test this by plugging the red lead to the voltage ohm jack of your multimeter. Insert the tip of the red probe to the multimeter's amp jack. Hold it in for a few seconds to get a near zero reading. This indicates that the fuse of the multimeter is working correctly. You can also check the accuracy of your multimeter. Simply get a new alkaline battery, like a double A or triple A battery, which has a known voltage of 1.5 volts. Set up your multimeter. Plug the black probe to the comm jack and the red probe to the voltage ohm jack. Turn the setting of your multimeter to DC or V. Now, place the tip of the black probe on the negative side of the battery. Then, place the tip of the red probe on the positive side. The reading should say 1.5 or with 0.2 difference. This means that your multimeter is getting an accurate reading. Now, let's get your earth and moon grounding mats tested. It's important to note that earth and moon grounding products are crafted with our customers' welfare in mind. They do not run on electricity and are safely developed to feature a built-in 100K ohm resistor, ensuring your protection against rare electrical fault. The 100K ohm's resistance in a grounding mat is essential for two crucial reasons, effective grounding and user safety. The resistance value of 100K ohms is carefully chosen to provide a path for excess electrical charges to flow into the ground. It allows a controlled and gradual discharge of static electricity from your body. Testing for safety resistance is also a good way to check for continuity. Firstly, make sure that your grounding mat is disconnected from any power source before testing. Now, let's set up the multimeter. Turn on the multimeter and set it to measure resistance. Next, let's test the earth and moon grounding mat. Touch one multimeter probe to one of the grounding cord's connectors and the other probe to the other connector. To read the resistance value, check the multimeter display for the measured resistance. If it is close to 100K ohms, the grounding mat's built-in resistance is functioning correctly. Lastly, if you are uncertain about any part of the testing process or encounter unexpected readings, consult a professional electrician or contact Earth and Moon's customer service for further assistance. Happy grounding!